Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 7 of Let's Play Gene Forge 1 Mutagen. Jam into this intro theme and intro screen. We're at the Ruined School. It's proven to be quite the challenge. Uh, we're about to head in here. We're with Thada Vakir. Uh, let's go ahead and step in. This was a small library of Shaper textbooks. Outsiders would have paid a great deal for this secret information. Centuries of damp have ruined them. Okay, and there's a dead body here. With a crystal on it and a belt. Too bad we can't outfit our companions, our creations. We consume four living tools. Dang. Um, how far are we in experience? 3,400. We may get there by... Um... Finding the ones in this hall? No, probably not. So no matter what, we're going to have to spend... Um, four living tools somewhere. I don't see any other enemies left. Except the Hall of Shapers. Or the, um, Creation Hall. So, uh, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Spend the four living tools and then, um, go to the Creation Hall. No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna head to the Servant Mind area. We may be able to get through here and uh, go ahead and level up this way. Then we can put more points into mechanics, essentially. All right, let's F3. Let's come in. We're up against it here. Uh, quick action. Nice. What is that thing? And why am I almost dead? A rogue artilla. Shielded. Dang, they're all shielded. Okay, that one's dead. Poison. Uh, stunning bash. Charge. Leap attack. Go ahead and leap to that one. Missed. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Uh. Dang, it's intent on killing me. We are kind of hurting here. Let's go ahead and heal up. May have to point up, put a point into our heal craft because I'm enjoying using the healing spell. Okay. Missed. Okay, you're gonna have to beat up this one. Five poison. Shielded our there, guys. Critical, dang, and stunned. Missed. Oh boy. Stun him again. Um, use a healing pod and daze these two. Critical for 12. Critical for 27. Stunned me. My guy's terrified. I missed, but it was a quick action. We got a crit. Um, stunning bash on you. Nice. Oh, resisted. Dead. No, don't be terrified. We got this thing in our sights, man. We did it. 
We leveled up. This poison's a killer, though. It's F3. Okay, we leveled up. Poison's gone. Now, 11 skill points. Let's put a point into mechanics for three. Let's put a point into... Hmm... Three percent bonus to all spells. Restores three percent per point of the energy and essence cost. Three percent chance your spell attacks use fewer action points. Healing craft. Let's get a point. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get a point of essence mastery. Which gives us 34 essence instead of 28. Four points left. Let's go ahead and get a point of... Battle shaping. I like that. We're level four. Now we can probably create... Oh, we need six essence. It's F3. Lever is held. Locked in chains. You don't have the key. The key probably comes from... The creation hall. Oh, we gotta go back again to town. Because I have to restore my essence. I don't think there's an essence pool here. Is there one in the lab hall? I don't remember. Oh, we ran into an enemy. Okay. Critical 12. Terrified. Uh, I'm dead. Good reason to be terrified. Um... I shouldn't open anything because I may need those living tools. That's the thing. Let's just head back to town. We'll head back to town and come back. And head right to the creation hall. I have more essence so I can build a stronger creature. Yeah, because if I use those, like, say it's now instead of four living tools, it's three. If I use that, um, it could mean that I miss out. I won't be able to uh, enter the servant mind room right now. So I don't know for sure if we're going to be able to find the key. I just don't know. All right, let's work on him. Our control is still weak. We have 20 current essence. Increases missile damage. You don't have missile weapons. Turns upgrade. <laughs> Let's give it a strength upgrade. Wait, what if we absorb the creation? Again, and then head up here. 
to the essence pool again. Because now if we make a level 2 creation, <laughs> we can make a volatile sod, but that's probably going to give me even less control if I do that. Hmm. I can't make a volatile thought. The volatile thought is designed to be a short lived creation. It fights with the brute strength of a thought. When it dies, it explodes, damaging all nearby. They're designed to be happy about this. Oh, I have strong control level now. Okay, it's got thought punch. Berserk blow, 10 to 26 damage to self. Bigger explosion, increase the damage when this creation explodes. Exploding boils, when this creation takes physical damage, all foes nearby are burned. Hmm. Let's make for a bigger explosion. Let's give it that. Leap to target. Berserk blow. We still have 12 essence left. We can make it even stronger. Yeah, buddy. There we go. And we'll name it. Volley Thod. <clears throat> Wicked creation. So with Volley Thod, we'll head right to the creation hall. And we should be good to go. I'm not going to use my spare essence to create anything else. I'm going to just... Uh... <clears throat> um... Use the essence for uh, for um, spells. <laughs> Can't get the words out. <clears throat> All right, come on, Volley Thod. We are heading to the Creation Hall, and it is going to be glorious. There will be explosions, I'm sure. I hope I don't get damaged and die in the fierce explosions. Come up this way. They were just bones. Come down here. Okay. F3 right here. Command you to submit. Okay, let's go ahead and use our thorn baton. Oh, you're going to leap to me. Okay. How about... You leap to him. Thought he had stunning fist, but I guess not. Uh, let's get our bronze sword out and attack. Missed and missed. Let's go ahead... Oh, dang, you can't leap again for one more turn. Shoot. I wanted to leap up here. Let's go ahead and attack. You can leap to that one. Critical and killed it. Yes, 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 yes. Floating boils. I didn't see what happened there. Ah. Should probably use Berserk Blow. Oh, something just went in there. Um. Hmm. He's gonna explode. Wow. Sweet. Sweet explosion. 
<laughs> Dang. Got a student's belt. Value 200. Fizz armor 2. Magic armor 3. 10% to blessing curses you cause and 5% to magical damage. Very nice. And this belt. Go in the junk bag. Huh. No wonder he was tough. He was using a using that hmm I do have essence to create a f sheet of paper to create something but I'd rather use oh you jerk I'd rather use, uh, nice. Man, I can't get words out when I'm playing. Oh, shrooms. Actually, let's go ahead and eat, eat those shrooms. You are still full. Oh, you can only eat one thing. Five copper discs. Shield on the table. Um, oh no, shield right there. There we are. Pick up some meat. Try to eat a shroom. We're still full. Hmm. Let's check out this chest. Rawbone's possessions are stored in this box. They are mostly trash, torn garments, and broken weapons stolen from Vigiri. The rogue creature scavenged everything it could. You also find an iron key on a leather thong. You take it. It is old and rusty. Rawbone probably found the key when it took over these ruins, but he couldn't figure out how to use it. I figured Rawbone might have a key collecting, like, junk. So he did, in fact, have a key. We don't have a creation, but... We already cleared the uh, Servant Mind Hall. <clears throat> Very good. His explosion was massive. Took out three enemies and greatly weakened the other thought that was there. There we go. Servant Mind. Hello. You approach the school's Servant Mind. At first, you aren't sure if it's still alive. Then slowly, quietly, it begins to speak, its long closed mouth breaking a thick crust of dust and dried saliva to speak with you. Welcome, Shaper. I am the mind who has been named Pavralis. It has been long since I have spoken or thought. Forgive my slowness. I will attempt to wake quickly and serve you better. I have lost much of my knowledge. What remains is at your service. You are still functional. How is this possible? I have endured these long years, trusting the skill of the shapers who crafted me. They fed me well before they left. I should be able to live for a century, yet without difficulty. That is much longer than you thought these creatures could live. What do you eat? The shapers fed us a solution they crafted. They fed us long and well, bloating us, keeping our powers strong. I am not hungry yet, but I know other minds on this island endured much greater exertions than I. If you find them, you may find them to be weak and unhelpful, and even, sadly, deranged. Solution, however, may revive them. Where can I find some of the solution? I do not know. I believe that all we had here was fed to me before I was sealed away. The solution can, if properly sealed, last many, many years, so you may still find some on the island. I have another question. Pavralis is breathing clearly and easily now. These creatures have marvelous durability. How else may I assist you, Shaper? This was a... Uh, what happened to this school? Why is it in ruins? I do not know. Is the school in ruins? Nobody has visited me for so long. I know little. The last contact I had with your kind was... When most of my knowledge was blocked off. Gone. Who did that? A shaper from off the island came to see me. She said the school was to be closed forever. She said that I was to forget all the marvelous things we had learned here. I obeyed completely, of course. Then they sealed me away. This was many years ago. 
Why was the school closed? I think I remember being told we on this island had discovered dangerous knowledge, but I serve. The ways of the Shapers are not for me to know unless they wish it. Um, all of it is all gone? The instructions were vague, but I believe that I followed them properly. I remember little now from before my erasing. Mainly, I remember Defniel. Who was Defniel? The head of teaching here. A great researcher, I think. I think that is what I remember. He was very angry when the school was closed. He said he would leave a journal of his findings hidden in the school. He said that this would help our achievements survive. I thought it was unwise to not follow orders, but it is not my place to question a shaper. I found a ruined journal. Describe it. Yes, that sounds like Defniel's work, and it was ruined. He will be very angry if he is not dead. This was a school. Can you teach me anything? I was instructed to forget all I learned, know, or could teach. Any information that could not be forgotten must not be taught. I must follow those instructions. Okay, we're back. Do you remember nothing at all? I think I can work some miter modif- I- I cannot act in this way. It contradicts my directions. I was sent by the person who gave those orders. They have been cancelled. I do not believe you. Please leave me be. Please do not make me ignore my orders. It stops talking. Metal urn. No more pencils. The healing spores and shaper records. This book is filled with bureaucratic trivia about the colony here. Nothing of interest to you. You aren't sure who might find it useful. These panels are covered with <clears throat> rapidly changing symbols. You can't understand them, but they tell the servant mind what is happening in the complex. Hmm. <clears throat> What in the world? Dead people? Venom baton. Poison thorn. Ooh. We have to give up the javelin, though. No, we'll give up the fruit. People were shackled here and died. The heck is that? Is that about? And a canister can improve crate artilla or searing artilla if your magic shaping is high enough. Learned about the artilla or artilla. Let's check the journal. The simplest and most common of the magical creations, such creations are full of essence and magical energy. The main difficulty in molding a creature is making a body that can hold that much power without just exploding. Our teela are highly developed worms. Their tough, leathery skin contain a lot of raw power. These creatures are fragile, lethal artill artillery pieces. Battle creations protect them as they rain burning spit onto the enemy. Although it takes a lot of intelligence to create and maintain our teela, these creations are extremely dumb. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. Thank you, Shaper. You are kind and wise to me. All right. Um, one second, guys. Back all. Oh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, okay, so... We have completed the Shaper School. No, we haven't. There's still places to open with living tools, and we have to pick one. I would probably pick in this area. Although this area down here is a storage room as well, where they had storage. This is connected to this, uh, well, close to the lab hall. Um, whatever this place was, some sort of summoning place. Uh, oh, one of your keys unlocks the chains. Glad we didn't spend those tools. Agility, increased missile weapon damage by 5% per point. Gives 2% per point chance of evading attacks. Helps to act faster in combat. Feel yourself changing. Very nice. What's this here? Why is there a blank, empty room there? There's got to be a secret button somewhere. Wouldn't you think?
getting into this area. Why would this be blank? You know what I'm saying? So let's keep an eye out for a secret button. Um, then I see there. Go up here and look for a secret button. This has slime on the wall here. Let's come down here. No secret button. No secret button. But what about in here? Or even on this wall? Got to be a button in here. What was that? Okay, that's very odd. Is all I'm saying. And I'm not sure how to open it. Oh wait, a button in here maybe? I suppose that's it then. Not gonna scour every single wall for a button. Let's just come up here. Where we know there's uh something that our iron key can probably unlock. Man, did I save the tools or what? Note to self, do that from now on. Um bronze sword in the junk bag. Studded belt. Ooh, this offers more physical protection, but less to that other stuff. So we'll just junk it and abacus. Uh, 12 copper discs. Die. Another thorn baton. Can I combine it? No. Let's get rid of the uh, egg. Venom thorns, which we have to pick up for something. Um, let's get rid of the me. Is it worth anything? No. And a freaking canister can improve searer. Strikes a single foe with a bolt of energy, fills the target with poison or acid at higher levels. Boom. So why wouldn't we take them? Is it going to be something that they do actually change us? We have to return to Learned Pinner and see about that. Still don't know where a secret door or button could be. Oh, we're fighting. There's always one of these things waiting for us. We only get 4 XP for them now. Back to Vakiri. Let's go see Learned Pinner. And uh, I guess that's the only one to see about the school. Wish we could give our creations long names, like Volley Thod the Destroyer. We have a whole Volley Thod line going. I have spoken with the servant mind in the school. Describe the encounter. Henner leans against a table as she considers your tale. Finally, she says, This is very strange. Usually, islands are, b islands are barred because of a rogue or dangerous creation. We serviles know that much. We have lived in fear for years of what might be lurking here. But Susia was abandoned because something was discovered. There is something powerful here. So scary that your kind abandoned us. Whatever it is, it must be farther to the east. There is nothing so important around here. 
The old servile is growing tired. Thank you for your help. Shaper, what you have learned will give us peace. If you want to know more about why this isle was barred, the answers are not here. Okay, oh, the artifacts. She inspects you closely. She walks around you, looking at you from all angles. She looks concerned. After a minute, she gets a fragment of mirror and shows you your face. Look in this. What it means, I cannot say. You look different. You look stronger and more self-assured, but strange. There is growing confidence there, almost mania. The change had happened so slowly you hadn't noticed it, but it is definitely there. Hmm. So we have, you know, changed a little bit. Let's go ahead and buy some more healing spores. Um, go ahead and sell the junk bag. Huh, he took everything. Even the stuff that wasn't listed as worth money. Weird. Take the crystal. Um, wow, we are... Really do not have a lot of uh, room to work with. Healing spores. Um... Money's tough to come by, even though we have 636. I'm not going to blow it. That's all I want. One healing spore. Now let's go talk to... Uh, hmm, who sent us? Learned, oh no, Learned Kobar. We already talked to him. He, uh... Not Learned Kobar. Leader Kobar. He gave us a message for El or, uh, Pentel. Where was Pentel? Oh, east is Pentel. Can delete that. Kazk is a long journey to the east. Pentel's to the northeast. Okay, good to know. Tree. We already got the artifact. Sensia. Okay. Alright, very good. Let us maybe create another hmm. Let's just I guess head east. Watch Hill. Should probably have a creation going. Um, oh, Sear, 9 to 19, poison for three turns. Let's go ahead and make another uh, regular Thod. We have adequate control over him. Race is, dang, race is strength and it gets weak, but they are level 5. Um, 20% for costing, critical, excuse me, charge, stunning bash, and let's keep adequate control of him, and it leaves us with 20 essence, which we can maybe throw into a Fiora, adequate control, um, innate haste, that's fine. Now let's see if his control... No, his control is weak now. Doesn't tell us what it's, what it's going to be. His control is still weak. Why? It was adequate. Let's F4. Where'd we F3? Down here. Okay, we were heading down here. So if we... Create a regular Thod. Give him all the buffs. He's adequate. And he will be adequate. No, he goes to weak. I don't understand why. 
Well, anyway, let's make a Fiora with this and this. Um, we'll keep 10 Essence, and keep adequate control over him. It goes to week six, and adequate four goes down a level. But we should be okay. Famous last words. Let's go to Watch Hill. And, um... Come down this way, I guess. Which we didn't. Something down here. A stick. Um... Explored all of Watch Hill. Explored all of this up here. Uh, Pentel is down here. Right there. We'll get to Pentel. Thorny Fens East, Pentel farther east. Oh. Pentel's farther east, so what is this then? There's a servile settlement out here, an island of peace and a sea of rogues. An old obelisk has been dragged here, sanded down, and carved with the words, El Haraz Keep. The keep itself is more of a burrow, descending into the hill to the south. The passage has been shored up with fresh logs. Servile guards are kept stationed to either side, armed and ready to fend off hungry intruders. The entrance to this fort is watched by a servile guard. It is a young male at the peak of his strength, wielding an old but dented, and dented but still usable sword. He watches you with the expected fear and uncertainty. Welcome, Shaper, to our fort. I wish you well, he says. He doesn't seem surprised by your presence. News of your arrival on Susia Island has traveled ahead of you. Who lives in this fort? This is the home of El Hara, founder of the Awakened. He has told us that you are welcome here. No harm is meant to you as long as you come in peace. Tell me about El Hara. He is the wisest among us. News of your arrival came to us. I know he wants to meet you. We are to let you by. Over to the question, the young warrior stands at attention. Anything else, Shaper? Is there anything I should know about this region? Since you entered the war into the northwest, things have been peaceful. We thank you for your help. I know Vakiri is to the west. What other settlements are nearby? The nearest settlement besides Vakiri is Pentel. You could get there by going east or north. That is where the obeyers are. Weak-willed serviles. Soft and obedient. Okay. Are you ready to leave this region? Oh, I guess. Elara's keep. Message for Elara. Kill Elara. Okay, here we are. You're able to rest. Friendly settlement. You enter the keep of Elhara. This is yet another shape or ruin, probably barracks for the island soldiers. The serviles here have done a good job of restoring it. The crumbling stone floors have been torn up and replaced with wood and many of the shaper tapestries on the wall have been painstakingly restored. As you enter, you feel the eyes of many armed serviles on you. You are welcome here, but you doubt they will tolerate any trouble. As you pass the guards, one of them says, Welcome, shaper, to the home of the awakened. El Hara waits. The guard points to the south. Greetings. <clears throat> what was that? They're all guard serviles. 324 health. Don't want to start trouble with them. Swan. Awakened wishes. We of the awakened have fair requests. Oh, we already did this. Right. Sell goods and labor freely. Capable of magic and apply to learn. Held by the same laws. Okay. Oh, XP plus 25. Bucket with water in it. Swan. This is the most imposingly armed and armored of all the serviles you have met so far. He wears a heavy iron breastplate and a large blade hangs from his belt. When you approach, he sizes you up, an astonishingly insolent gesture for a servile. With a little nod of approval, he says, I am Swan, awakened, commander of the keep. I train serviles in the military arts. Tell me about the awakened. I can, but I will not. It is not my place, not with El Hara nearby. Swan points to the south. I teach about mere weaponry. He teaches freedom. 
sort of training do you provide? I teach servile's the way of war. I know some tricks that might help you, Shaper. Though I am but a servile, I have learned much in my many years of fighting here. How do serviles fight here? Desperately, and with a mix of our own weapons and Shaper artifacts. Some use mundane weapons, swords and javelins. Some use the living weapons of the Shapers, the batons that fire thorns. Some serviles have learned to breed the batons and grow plants that produce thorns as fruit. A rare few use crystals and wands. They are Shaper artifacts, powerful stones and stabs which unleash powerful magic. These are hoarded and only used in great danger as we can't make more. I'm impressed by your ingenuity in learning how to fight. I am glad that you feel that way. Not all of your kind will be so tolerant. Can you teach me? I'm afraid not. I will only share my deadliest knowledge with my fellow awakened. I have another question. Swan watches you silently. It is remarkable how well he keeps his composure when facing one of his creators. Um, what battles have you had to fight recently? Of late, our foes have been limitless. There have been the rogues coming out of Watch Hill, the roamers on the thorny fens, and worst of all, Warp the Vlish. Tell me about Watch Hill. Thank you for settling the mystery of the rogues coming out of Watch Hill. From now on, we know to watch for fresh spawners and destroy them immediately. Tell me about the thorny fens. They are east of here, just north of the water. It is a region between here and Pentel, full of roamers. They are particularly cunning. They stalk their prey, waiting until enough additional roamers show up. Then they pounce. Tell me about Warp. Warp is a Vlish. The Vlish are particularly intelligent... Oh. The Vlish are particularly intelligent creations used for communication and reconnaissance. It lives in a ruin in Crag Valley. Warp is powerful, free of mind, mad, and hates us. It can charm my warriors and eat them while they stand there mindless. It can control Romer's servants with its mind, and it sends them to feed on us. We have tried to kill it many times. It always evades me. One day I will make a mistake. It will steal my mind and devour me. Can you help me destroy Warp? Elhara and I disagree on this issue. He has an old Shaper weapon which might help you destroy Warp. But you would have to be very convincing to ever get him to tell you about it. That's all for now. I want more leadership skills, actually, but I should have taken them last, last time. Elra's guard. Ting. So even some of the guard-looking ones are... Elra's personal guard watches you very carefully. They don't trust shapers, no matter how seemingly friendly. Be at peace. We are awakened. Welcome, Shaper. It's a time of testing. You meet Elara, leader of the Serviles, revered by them for his wisdom. To your eyes, he's not exceptional. He is strong, sure, and armed with a sword, but he is no more imposing than any other Servile you have met. He is neither old nor scarred, yet he is unusual. When he looks at you, he stares you straight in the eye. He shows no fear. He knows that Shapers could destroy his people in a minute if they wanted, and yet he refuses to grovel. Welcome, Shaper, to our home. I desire words with you. I am Matthew of the Shapers. Who are you? Servile looks for hints of your intentions. Your natural greeting gives him nothing to work with. I am Elhara, founder of the Awakened. Since I heard of your arrival on our isle, I have eagerly awaited your visit. We have long feared the return of your kind. We Serviles were forced to think for ourselves, and we hope you will listen to all we have learned. Why is this so important to you? Because there are three united settlements of serviles on Susia Island. Not all of us are inutile. Most of us are thoughtful creatures. All of us fear the Shapers. All will be trying to win your favor, get your help. I want to tell you our ways to convince you that favoring us is the just path. I want to know more of the Awakened. I am glad to hear it. The meaning of my entire life is to tell more of our sect and our beliefs. I am glad that you have come to speak with me before supporting a different sect. I am sure you find that our views are the wisest on Susia Isle. What do the Awakened believe? The Shapers created us. You are our parents. However, while we will always be grateful to you, we should not be your slaves. We wish to deal with you as intelligent beings and equals. We believe in fair trade for goods and services. For anything we give you, we expect fair compensation. And for anything we take from you, we will pay. We believe that we and the Shapers can live together in peace and mutual support. Most of all, we want peace and dignity.
Surprisingly, your views make sense. I never realized before I came here that servals can support themselves. It is a lesson. <clears throat> it is a lesson we learned at great cost, but learn it we did. Elora smiles. You are the first shaper most of us have ever met. That we can convince you gives me real hope for the future. I have another question. Elora nods. I can easily spare time to speak with one of your kind. What else do you want, shaper? No more of the awakened. What do you think of the other sects on Susia Island? In Pentel, you will find the Obeyers. They worship you as if you are gods. For them, the name Servile truly fits. Farther east are the Takers of Free. They hate Shapers. They long to die in a feudal war against you. If you visit them, tread very carefully. They are dangerous. I wish to join the Awakened. I will support your fight for dignity. Um, I'd like to speak with you about this region. You mean Valkyrie lands, yes? The territory of the Awakened. We have been in much danger recently. What would you like to know? Are you being attacked by rogues? It is impossible to travel around here and not know the answer to that. After you purged Watch Hill, we entered and found the remains of that strange creation spawner. We have no idea who might have made such a cruel horror. We hope that you can find them and make them stop. What villages are near here? You have already been to Vakiri, the wisest and strongest of the servile outposts. Pentel is to the east. You can get there by traveling east from here or north from Watch Hill. Both routes get you there eventually. The path to the east is full of dangerous rogues. Pentel is occupied by the Obeyers. They worship your kind to an extent that upsets me. Farther east is Kazg, home of the Takers. They hate Shapers. Be warned. What other Serviles live in these lands? You are There are the Inutile, of course. Not all Serviles are fit to live a civilized life in a sect. Some are peaceful, some become brigands. I have a message here from Vakiri. Give it to Elra. I am glad you can spare the time to help our kind. He takes the message, reads it, and laughs. I must be honest with you. This message is of no importance. He crumbles it up and throws it away. It was a trick to get you here so that we can speak. Vakiri wants you to learn of the Awakened. As much as I'd like to learn about this island. So do we all. Susia Island is full of mysteries. What interests you? I'm looking for a boat. I want to escape this island. I can understand that, but I can't aid you. I do not know where a boat is. You might try searching the villages to the east, but their beliefs are very backward. Why did the Shapers abandon Susia Isle? We do. We know that it was cruel, abandoning us, abandoning us the way you did, but we do not know what caused it. Speak with learned Pinner and Vakiri. She may be able to help you more. I have found many strange canisters on this island. They make me stronger. Elhara looks at you carefully. He seems worried by what he sees. I can see you need the strength they give you. It must be necessary to survive the dangers here. However, they are changing you in a way I do not understand. It frightens us. You look cold and strange, and you glow in a soft, strange way. Use them if you must, but be careful. Do you have any canisters I can use? Elhara sighs. If you wish to take the risk, who am I to judge? I think there is one to the ruins we have not reclaimed. He points to the southeast. I saw it some years ago. It had a label for poison and other afflictions. We have not been back there in some time. Some rogues infiltrated those tunnels. So for that, we got 25 experience, 25 experience. Um, let's check with you about this region. That's all for now. Okay, be at peace. We'll go ahead and explore the place. On one hand, I feel bad that I can't steal. Like, I don't want to steal, but... Disarm trap. You're able to tell this box has a trap, but your mechanic skill isn't high enough to disarm it. You want to open it anyway? Leave it alone. Heavy boots. Elra's guard. A vase on the ground. Might as well really not even look in it. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to F3 here. See how long we've been playing. 49 minutes, okay. Well over here. want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the LP. And I uh, enjoyed this episode. I really appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much for watching. 
Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care. And next time, hope you join me for another episode of Gene Forge One Mutagen. We're going to talk to Ting here and uh, explore more of the uh, El Haraz Keep. Stay tuned. <laughs>